Okay, for our third practice session. So we've played one sound at a time, we've played two sounds simultaneously. Now we're going to try and mix it up a little bit. So there's a f quite a few um, beats in the main lesson series that have this um, aspect. I'm just going to try and do something a little bit different in this one. So the first one we're going to do goes one and two and three and four and. So that one again. One and two and three and four and so the only thing a bit different is the one and um, then second variation same start goes one and two and three and four and so again the only thing different about that one to the last one was two and so just playing only the snare on the end of two so again one and two and three and four and the third variation this one's pretty easy so one and two and three and four and so just adding the kick to the end of four so if i combine that third variation and then put the second one after it then combine goes a bit like this so one and two and three and four and 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 cool now a bit faster um, now I find that one pretty fun to play Like that um, and then the advanced version of that would be to add some swing to it so if you have a hard time adding swing there's a lesson I have called triplets and swing where you can use a triplet to help you with some swing um, but for now we're just I'm just gonna feel it out so a swing version of this one would be So to me, having a bit of swing to that beat makes it sound even cooler. So I'll slow it down for you. So we go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And so the good thing about swing is you can, it doesn't have to be exact. You can just play it by ear. As long as the ones, one, two, three and fours are exact, the ends in between can move and swing. <laughs> So that's the fun part about it. Right, cool, that'll wrap it up for this one. See you in the next one.